This is um, very exciting for me. You may be like, Kenzie, we've already seen the closet. Listen, listen. You might think you've already seen the closet, but what you didn't know, and what actually, you probably did know this because I don't shut up about it in the vlogs, but there was one door that needed to be installed. And basically, just let me have my moment. This is the official closet room reveal. Here we are. This is not the final closet room tour, however, because you know, there's some things that we're gonna switch around. I need you guys' advice. So comment below, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Kinsey. I'm a 23 year old lifestyle vlogger and podcast host. I live in Dallas, Texas. I have a townhouse. This used to be my office. I changed it into a closet for a multitude of reasons. One being that I just didn't use this office. Two being that the lighting in here was so bad. That's why I added some mirrors. And it was just a kind of like a dark, depressing room as an office. And long story short, I decided I wanted a closet room more and I have not regretted it one bit. So all of you haters who told me it was a bad idea, no, it was a great idea. Potentially one of my best. All right, so how about it everyone? First things first, I'm gonna put my coffee down. It's not even good to be honest with you. Not very good at all. Nope. Oh, you know what I do have? We should spray this. Room spray. Ah. Uh, okay. First thing, this is my first section of my closet. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Like, you see this and you're just like, wow. We have this section, which as you can see is color coded, color coordinated. Um, and then within that I have like, I'll do like tank tops to long sleeve, whatever. I have a vlog where I organize the closet. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it below. And then here, this is one of the better things. I have this little jewelry organizer. As of right now, I don't have enough jewelry to organize because since I didn't organize my jewelry before, I don't know where most of it is. Here I have things for sunglasses. I used to actually at one point in my life have enough sunglasses to fill this up. I no longer do. This is where I keep my necklaces. I have rings here, bracelets. Like look at this cute one. I haven't even worn it yet, but I have this little juicy thing. I got it on Depop. So cute, right? Love that. Like I'm really cute and trendy now. I'm gonna wear this in the Bahamas. So that's cute. Hello, cute. See, getting dressed is just so fun now. So I have bracelets here. I have some more jewelry here, hoops and stuff. And then I have some more stuff I haven't even unboxed yet. So right here, these are drawers. And I will say these drawers go back so far. Like they fit so much stuff. I had a dresser that had six drawers. And it looked so much bigger than this. It at least took up a lot more room and this holds so much more. Here I have all my fitness wear. This was a little bit more organized about a week ago and it still is like the stats are still together, but like, what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Like I try and this is, it's not the worst, but it's also not the best, okay? Down here we have swimsuits and like, I will just never be the person who has my swimsuit drawer organized. Like. I'm a pretty organized gal, but that's just, that's going too far. Down here, I have random like office things. And then down here, I have a drawer full of PR stuff that I either need to give to friends, donate, or go through myself. I don't have anything there yet. Honestly, I'm keeping the space open because I can only imagine I'll eventually have more cowboy hats. You know what I mean? When you shut this, the light automatically turns off. There we go. See? On. Off. On. Off. Okay, you guys get it. Anyways, moving over here, lights on. That's my favorite part of the closet, actually. Isn't that exciting? So here we have matching sets that aren't sweat sets. My sweat sets are actually all in my, what did I just do there? I hit something. Um, my sweat sets are actually in my closet off of my bedroom because it's summer, but this is Revolve, that's a set. This is Verge Girl, this is Revolve, Skims. The marshmallow set, it's like the most comfortable thing ever. And then down here, we have pants. I have all denim here. This is not as organized as it once was. I really don't wear pants because it's 100 degrees here every day. Closing this. All right, over here. So this is where things are gonna get tricky. So these are all mirrors, and I actually originally didn't even wanna get these doors, but I didn't have that many options. The ones that I wanted didn't slide out, they like pulled out, and the sliding just worked better for this room, and then the way this was situated, I basically could only do mirrors, which I didn't want to do because I already have two full-length mirrors upstairs, but I will say I'm so glad that I did it. One, because it's the closet, it's so much easier. Two, it makes this room feel bigger, and three, it helps with light. This room just used to be like the darkest room ever, but now that I have all these mirrors in here, it's not, so thank God for that, guys. Okay. Moving over here, this is the only one the light's not gonna come on because Ikea forgot to send me the top piece and I have spent, honestly, a 
good large chunk of my 20s on the phone with Ikea. Specifically just about this closet. And as much as I love the light, I just don't know if it's worth the mental health issues that it causes. So I think I might just, you know, ignore that because I have the light, but they forgot to give me the top shelf that the light goes on. As sad as I am to say, there might not be light in here. I just, I can't do another Ikea phone call. Like I just, I really can't. But over here, we have bottoms. So I have a bunch of shorts. Skirts, skorts. I don't even think I have a skirt. Oh yeah, I do, but they're in my fitness drawer and I actually have a lot of cute like tennis skirts. Anyways, I have like skirts, all this stuff, denim shorts, whatever. And then this is where I keep my dresses that are like just shorter dresses. These are color coordinated, but since there's a lot of prints, it doesn't really look like that. But yeah, honestly, this is like all I wear in the summer and I keep them all in here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Over here, you open this up in a little corner here, and here you go. Okay, so this is the corner right here, guys. I'm gonna move you really quickly so you guys can see the other side. Right here, guys. Um, I keep all of my like maxi dresses. As you can tell, I love dresses. And then I have jumpsuits, blazers, jackets that I would wear in the summer. It's nice, it's gonna be great for outerwear. Love that for me. Over in this corner is where I keep all of my hats, my bags, and um, two pairs of boots. What's cool about this, you know, just like an unnecessary cool thing, it pulls out, like look at that. Woo! So I have black bags, I have brown bags, I have white, gray, and colorful bags. Like I got these two, which are my two favorite bags in definitely on the less expensive side of my bag collection, but aren't these just so beautiful? Um, they're both vintage juicy. That's basically all I'm showing you in my closet but they're from Depop and I'm obsessed with them. I wear them all the time. I actually get all the compliments on them and they're just like really fun to add to your outfit. So I love that. I have a lot of like baseball hats, trucker hats. If you guys see something exciting, it might be coming soon, you know? Up there I have a Young Cowboys hat, which I've had for probably a year. Look at this, so cute. And it glows in the dark. It's obviously not dark here, but I love this hat. Neo Cowboys, um, Asia Hall has come on the podcast. That's the founder. She's very, very cool. Um, they work with Casey and I love that hat. So yeah, that's basically this corner. And this back corner over here, I have more boots, but that's pretty much it over here. And then this was the reveal, essentially. It came broken, so I had to get it replaced. And now it's done and here we are, okay? Now we're gonna open it. And this is kind of like, my shoe wall slash other organization up here on top. I don't know if you can see it. I have a cowboy hat that I, guys, this is not okay. Like it was in my car and look at what I did to it. That, I'm actually gonna be shamed. I can't fix that right now. Yes, I do have Ugg Minis up here. Um, okay, what's actually cool about this though is that all of these come out for shoes. So I kind of need a little bit of a ladder to get to this, but I just have like heels up here. Um, and then down here I have the heels that I wear the most. So I just got these Steve Madden and I tried them on the vlog. Um, and they are the most comfortable shoe ever. I can do an entire shoe collection, in bag collection, outerwear collection, whatever. But if you're looking for a good shoe or heel that you can wear all the time, especially like a night out when you just want to be comfortable but you also want to wear a heel, and then for me, I ended up just putting on cowboy boots because at least I'm not wearing sneakers because I wear sneakers everywhere else. And no one cares. Basically, long story short, if you need a heel that is comfortable and you can wear it on a night out without dying, this is the one. I want them in every single color. I really do. I also got these randomly. Um, since I'm all about comfort, I actually should do an entire TikTok on heels that are comfortable for a night out. But um, these are public desire and they wrap up and they're super cute. I recently wore those as well. I ordered these because Julia Havens posted them. I haven't worn them yet, but I think they're so fun. But the heels look so extreme. I don't know. Maybe I'll bring these to the Bahamas. I feel like that's where I'm gonna wear them. I just think they're so fun. So there's more heels back here. Um, and then here I have like my most worn sneakers. So we've got some of the like, these are my Jordans, Air Force Ones, which are still my most worn. This is a Leaf. Nike Blazers, Converse, uh, 112s. Yeezys that are like so old, but I will never get rid of them because I love them. Down here, we have some straw cowboy hats. This is Dem Carlson's most recent collab. I will be wearing this in the Bahamas. I'm going next week, guys, and I'm just planning out my outfit. Sorry I keep bringing it up, but like, my dream collab would be either a cowboy hat or cowboy boots. Honestly, cowboy boots over a cowboy hat, but I would still die for a cowboy hat. I will be wearing this 
so much. Okay, and then here I have some more drawers and I just rolled up some sweatpants. As you can see, some more. We've got two full drawers of them. I'm not proud. And then right here I have another thing for shoes and these are shoes that I kind of just throw on all the time and they're easy. Sometimes these shoes are in there because, you know, I wear them every day. That is it for the closet tour. Okay, right here it fits my suitcase like so perfectly. Do we hate this here or do we love this? And listen, you guys might be like, Kinsey, you have an entire closet over here. Why would you have a clothing rack here? Look, it's not for look and I'm not obsessed with it, right? But like, well, this is exciting. This is not planned to be out here. But we have some merch that I'm shooting in like an hour, so I do have that ready, and then I've just been planning out my outfits for the weekend because I'm never chill nor am I relaxed. So I just have outfits out here. Sometimes I'll pull clothes that I haven't worn yet that are new before they get like, you know, in the closet and I forget about them or whatever. So I do plan out some outfits on here. I'm not saying it's the cutest thing ever. Do we hate it? If we do, let me know. So since you made it this far, I have some questions. Let me grab my coffee. Number one, do I get a rug in this room? Number two, do I add a vanity to this room? I don't really have space, um, but I feel like, let me show you. This closet right here is like a storage closet, but I can move all this stuff to like the closet now that I'm using as storage. I have um, a mirror here anyways. I do have space for that in my other closet too. So whatever you guys think, I would like to have everything in here and just like maybe add a speaker in this room or something. That'd be really fun. And then I mean, what I just feel like to be the most obvious in the room is I really don't like the boob light fixture. I'm getting all of these throughout my house replaced. And as of right now, I'm just gonna do can lighting throughout the entire house. But I don't know. I think I still want to do cam lighting in here, honestly. But you guys can persuade me into a more of a statement light. You guys let me know what you think. So do I get a rug? I don't really have room for a chair in here, but I could do one of those little like checkered poof things. Do I add a vanity here? Oh, my other option for a vanity would be to just do it right in front of this mirror. I mean, there's really no room. This does slide. If I just got it really thin and added you know, a little, my mirror there. I don't know, or I guess I don't know, but I would really genuinely love to have my vanity in here. You know? I mean, you can't have it all though at the same time. You guys let me know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This closet is truly, I know it probably sounds very like superficial and materialistic and whatever, but this closet is really like a dream come true for me. I've wanted something like this pretty much my entire life and I love clothes and just every single time, this sounds so cheesy and I know I've been like very sarcastic the whole video, I'm in a mood today, but every time I walk into this room, I actually think about how grateful I am for my life and you guys, my job and just like everything. Like I literally walk in here and I'm in a good mood because I'm just so grateful. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and just staying, you know, around. I wouldn't be living any of the life that I'm living now if it weren't for you guys or have a closet or anything. I will say, um, I got this from Ikea, by the way. This is the pack system. And I just went into Ikea. Um, if you guys live in Dallas, I went to the one in Frisco. And I sat down. I wanna say her name was Olga. I loved her. She was so good at her job. Like, Ikea, Frisco, give this woman a raise. Help, was it? It was Helga or Olga. I'm so sorry I'm blanking on this. I'm normally so good with names, but I did design this like four or five months ago. Give that woman a raise though, because she is a queen. I loved her. She really helped me. And as far as cost of the closet room, honestly, it was way cheaper than I expected that it would be. So if you guys are looking into this, I definitely recommend the IKEA pack system. When I was doing research on Pinterest and stuff, all the like multi-million dollar homes that have it on Pinterest, you know the ones I'm talking about on Pinterest. Um, they're all Ikea, like every single one of them. The closets, I mean, not the houses, but you get what I'm saying. So anyways, I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm excited to be filming more videos in this room. It just like inspires me and gets me motivated and makes me very happy and makes me very grateful. So I love you guys. I just don't want to stop filming, I think, but I love you all and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Do you have like any the aura ring or anything? I actually am getting it next week. That's so funny okay, you said that. Okay, I am considering ordering it. I was thinking about it today. I'm like, do I just buy it now? My mom is obsessed okay. with it and checks it every day. So I'm getting it next week. Funny you said that.